Hi guys, what is up? It is your boy Deceptive Cobras here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Rank 5 Kika, that is a Japanese jet fighter. And, well, first things first, how much is this bad boy going to set you back? Well, according to their actual main webpage, the Kika will set you back six, 610,000 silver lions, and it will actually cost you... Let's take a look here real quick and it will cost you 170,000 lions to uh, pick a crew speaking of crew what kind of crew skills are we looking for to keep this bad boy in the sky well of course you're looking for vitality for your pilot G tolerance and stamina not so much about the king vision and the awareness as this jet is meant to be a uh, pack hunter it's not meant to be a lone wolf if you are lone wolfing this jet I suggest you do add some extra points into king vision and awareness Ground crew, well, plain simple weapons maintenance and reload speed. If you plan on taking a hit, which I don't suggest you do, um, you'll probably want to bump up your repair rank and your repair speed to match. And of course, you want to max out your qualifications. As you can see here, my crew do not meet the uh, expert or ace qualification. To ace this plane, I believe it will cost you anywhere between 600 to 1,000 silver line, uh, uh, golden eagles. Sorry. Now. Let's take a look at the uh, unlocks and upgrades for this jet real quick. Modifications. You can get yourself a secondary cannon, and I do suggest that you actually do. Uh, I, I suggest that that would be literally one of the mods that you do f get with uh, uh, Eagles. This is probably the only jet in existence that I suggest that you actually get uh, with Eagles. As you can see here, I am buying me some uh, backup, Eagle, backup vehicles with this plane. Now... What? Bomb loads wise, I really wouldn't bother grabbing it. I mean, the 800 kilogram bomb, it, it does sound like, ooh, yeah, and it is a base smasher if you are flying with friends, i.e. in a, uh, a squad or a platoon, and you actually go for the same target. All three of you can drop your bombs, and you'll be about as equivalent as an actual jet bomber. That way your bomber can actually focus on other targets, or you can use it, of course, to go for a tank column, and maybe you knock out one, maybe two tanks. I go with the tracer ammunition. The reason why I go with the tracer ammunition is the higher chance of setting the enemy plane on fire. You, of course, your your ammunition choice will vary. You can go with the universal. I would skip going for the ground targets, period, unless you plan on over-penetrating the enemy. Of course, there is a practice shell in that lineup, which does absolutely nothing. Practice shells are nothing but give away your position. Same, of course... <clears throat> Tracers, you could go with those. They're not a bad idea. Again, high explosive, that's what I use. And then, of course, there is the stealth ammo. Again, there is a practice shell in there, which means out of, even if you did get the upgrade and say you did have 100 rounds, only 50 rounds in your plane is actually going to do anything. Tracers currently right now is the only plane ammunition in this plane that does not have a dummy shell, i.e. you are getting your full 100 round load. So that's why I use tracers. As you can see, default has a practice shell, universal, practice shell, ground targets, practice shell, stealth, practice shell. Again, tracers is the only ammunition I use in this plane. Reason being is it's a 30 millimeter round, so high chance you're gonna actually you know, damage, set them on fire, and or knock out the pilot. I, of course, I don't have the coverings or the new 30 millimeter cannons, but I do have the engine upgrades, wing repairs, basically you're seeing what I've got. Now, one of the upgrade, <clears throat> excuse me, one of the upgrades I suggest that you actually get for this plane, I don't have it personally, but I do think you should, and that's the talisman. Now you're thinking, why the talisman? Because in effect, it turns the plane, the jet, into a premium plane. It'll give you an additional 190% RP when controlling the vehicle so you get your unlocks quicker and of course it'll help you to unlock the f8630 saber the ki200 and of course you know the r2y2s now strong points weak points about this jet the weak points is the flight model for this jet is incomplete as you look at the image of the jet you will see underneath the wings that there is in fact a booster right underneath the tail end of the wing. The boosters are not on the actual model. So the moment you go into combat, you've immediately taken critical damage. 
Your plane will actually show that you have taken critical damage. Nothing's hit you. It's just the flight models, they're missing the boosters. This plane needs the boosters. Overall, its speed in comparison to other jets, for example, 509 miles per hour versus 508 miles per hour. The bombers, the, the R2Y2 bombers, can actually keep up and actually overtake the Kika. The Sabre doing a whopping 700 miles per hour, again, in my previous review, that is a work of fiction. And frankly, the Ki-200 does more than 610 miles per hour. So everything in your lineup, in this jet lineup, will overtake you. So of course, the plane itself is, of course, is an ME-262. And yes, it is a German jet fighter, guys. And I'll just show it to you. It is actually a clone of the ME-262. Not, of course, the A1 with the, the, the big 50mm cannon. But it is a clone of the ME-262, which does have boosters. This plane does have its boosters, of course. Again, they're not modelled because the Kika and this plane use the exact same model. They're basically a cut and paste of each other. Now, of course, there'll be a separate video for you to check out for the flight models. And the video, if you wish to check the flight models, will be right over here. Just click on that and you'll get to see the flight models of this plane in both arcade realistic. And, and of course, sadly, I don't have my flight stick here on this current PC, so you can't see Simulator. But Fly Daily has said that the Kika is his favorite, jet, uh, favorite plane to fly in Simulator. And frankly, I don't blame him. Now, would I own it slash fly it and is it right for you? Well, of course, I do own it. Do I fly it? Sadly, not as much as I would like to. And is it right for you? Well, frankly, I'm not. Personally, I'm not a jet fighter. Uh, I like my prop planes. I am a propeller head. I am not a turbine head. So, frankly, I'm not saying that my, my review of this plane is going to be biased. It's not. But it's one of those planes that... If you have it in your garage, it is kind of like a notch on your bed. It, it is a bragging right. Not many people can say that they, they fucked Beyonce, except for Jay-Z. And pretty much, if, if I was Jay-Z, this would be a, a Beyonce notch on my bedpost, so to say. Of course, along with the F-86F Sabre. Now, personally, personally, what do I actually think of the jet? I think it's fun. Um, the flight model greatly does need to be looked at, sadly. It really does. They need to a actually give the plane its boosters. And of course, you know, other than that, guys, the battle rating. Its battle rating is 6.3 for rank 5. If you line it up with your KI-84, Otsu, and Hyen with your GAN-1, you're probably not going to see R2, Y2s. You're probably not going to see uh, KI-200s. You will see other Kikas, of course. And you definitely, definitely will see Yak 9Ps. You may see you 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 may see Yak uh, 15s, Mig 9s, a, a pinch. You may see a Mig 9, um, LA's LA 9s, LA 7Bs. You'll see IL 10s, and you will. See, I I have seen the odd uh, IL 28 uh, American jets. What will you see at that rank? You will most likely see PAEA5s. Uh, you may see B29 Super Fortresses. But jets wise, you're probably only going to see the PADA5. At a pinch, you may see a Banshee. May see a Banshee. As for British jets, what will you most likely see? Well, I hate to say it, but you're definitely going to see. Uh, uh, Meteor F Mark 3s. You will definitely see Fury Fighter Bombers. You will definitely see Attacker FBs, which I don't seem to understand because it's a 7.3. Um, vampires, I've only seen one vampire. You'll definitely see Ken Bearers. Um, so yeah, that's what you're most likely going to see, guys, if this is the only jet in your lineup and the rest are props. Uh, so other than that, well, 
I can be candid and give you my honest opinion, which is this plane does need some love. The Japan, all, all Japanese planes right now, since the uh, uh, since their inception, really haven't had a flight model look at. It's like they seem to have just said it and forget it with the Japanese nation. Um, I mean, we were screaming, we need late tier planes. So they gave us a cut and paste of the F-86, F-25 and just called it the F-30 Sabre. Um, same as the KI-200, same as the Kika. Um, I remember when we didn't even have a J-7W-1, let alone the R-2s. But again, guys, the R-2s were mostly prototypes uh, with you know paper, paper jets slash prototypes. And so we get what we get. Tactics for this jet, um, hit and run. Don't stick on someone's tail, hit and run, stick and move. Um, almost boom and zoom, but you don't really, if you're the only jet and you're going up against a prop, yeah, boom and zoom. If you're going up against another jet, make sure you are wolf packed with other jets. It's the only tips and advice I can give you guys. Of course, use the tracer rounds. It does give your position away as you shoot. However, it is pure 100% cannon ammo. There's no practice shells so i hope you enjoyed this review if you did guys please give me a thumbs up i greatly appreciate it and if you didn't enjoy this video give it a thumbs down again i greatly appreciate it, it lets me know whether or not the uh, direction that i'm taking my uh, tank and plane reviews in is right or not for you guys the viewers and as always guys take care keep your flying keep your enemies dying your cobra commander is out and i'll see you in the next video wandering around of course, the biggest weakness is the upper ma uh, uh, the upper uh, uh, chassis, with it only being 16 millimeters. So you got to be careful of artillery, even light artillery, will will wreck you. You have to be careful of HE as well, because HE will wreck you. Um, this isn't spaced armor, unfortunately. So don't give your opponents your sides if you if you can't you know if you can't help it. Same as the turret. The turret's not really that strong, but it does have some sort of angling to it, 25 degree angling. So, you know, unless you're going down the hill with, you know,